Friday evening was busy for Eun Sob Lee at the Halifax Brewery Market. The owner and head chef at Gamma Bai Lee was preparing something special for Saturday's customers. Lunar New Year traditional food. Lunar New Year is celebrated by Asian communities across the world, including in South Korea, where Lee is from. Living in Canada during this time can feel lonely for Lee, who came here with his wife about four years ago. Traditions associated with the holiday, such as gathering with family and performing ancestral rites, are not possible thousands of miles away from home. That's why we, we need to make something. Anywhere, we make, make some good food. Uh, for we can sh we can share our traditional food to someone or at least uh, both of us. Since starting his business in 2020, Lee finds joy in preparing Lunar New Year specials for his customers. The menu this year includes some sekjeon or three colored pancakes. The pancakes are made with eggs, green onions, meat or fish, pickled radish, and burdock root. The green, yellow, red, all those colors are very. Uh, holy or a very sacred color in the Korean tradition. Mm -hmm. Ren Tian, who is a Chinese transracial adoptee, didn't grow up celebrating the holiday. Lunar New Year has become a chance for Tian to reconnect with their roots. I'm a transracial adoptee uh, in a white family, so it wasn't, it was mostly like ordering takeout. Um, but as I've kind of grown older and found um, Asian community, especially queer and trans Asian community. It's been a lot of like research and like creating my own rituals and traditions and like learning about them through peers. This Lunar New Year's Eve, Tian is co-facilitating a virtual event to celebrate the Year of the Tiger. The event is meant to be a space for the Asian queer community to share stories and create traditions. Any time that there is a gathering that is really centered around family and friends and loved ones can feel really complicated for a lot of people, um, but especially uh, to SQT BIPOC folks or people who are part of a diaspora who aren't like close to family, whether that is because of borders or because like their queerness has somehow caused a rift. I think being able to have spaces where you feel seen and heard and held by your community and also, um, you know, I think a lot of queer spaces are very dominated by white folks. And so being able to see yourself reflected back in all the ways is really important. For the Saltwire Network, I'm Nibal Snan in Halifax.